Number 3, the x component of vector a is minus 25 meters. So the x component of the vector is equal to minus 25 meters. The y component of the vector is equal to plus 40 meters. Letter A, what is the magnitude of the vector A? So how can we find the magnitude of a vector in two dimensions? So the magnitude of a, a vector in two dimensions is the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. And in this case, the x component is minus 25 and the y component is 40. So if you do this calculation over here, you would find 47.2 meters. So this is the answer of letter A. Letter B, what is the angle between the direction of A, the vector A and the positive direction of X? So let's remember that the tangent of the angle is equal to the y component over the x component. So if you want to find the angle, the angle is the arc tangent or tangent to the minus one of a y over a x, which in this case would be minus no, plus 40 over minus 25 and this gives us two different answers this gives us let's see this gives us minus 58 degrees or plus 122 degrees because the the tangent function is the same for two different angles let's say for example Let's say this is our, our vector over here, and this is the angle. And let's think about a second vector over here. And for the second vector, this is the angle over here. However, for both angles, the tangent would give us the same value. So we have to decide which quadrant our vector is. So let's kind of draw this vector over here, vector A. So vector A is negative in X, so it's something like this, and positive in Y, and so something like this. So if we sum the components, we will, we will find that our vector is in the second quadrant. So let's see, which of those angles is in the second quadrant? Minus 58 is something like this, right? So this is minus 58. And plus 122 is something like this. So it's clear that our answer is plus 122 degrees. So this is the answer of letter B.